Hello my sweet friend and welcome to another tutorial of the Archaic Experience channel. Today I will be using Saracino Pasta model to make this cute stitch uh, cake topper and we're going to do it with blue. I'm going to start by creating the body. For that I'm making a ball of um, let's say approximately the size of the palm of my hand a little bit less than that and I'm going to use a styrofoam ball to create some support for this one because the head is a little bit big so the ball of sugar paste the ball of styrofoam is more or less the same size now we're going to place this styrofoam ball in the middle add some water just to glue it so it won't come off and just start bringing up the sugar paste if you think that it's a little bit dry add a little bit more water Bring up the sugar paste, uh, pulling it up around the styrofoam ball to first of all cover it and then we're going to create a pear shape for the body. Okay, so once that I have the pear shape that I want for the body, just uh, press a little bit in the bottom to create like a base where the doll or the cake topper is gonna sit and uh, remove the excess from the top that you are not going to need. my friends so now we're going to start creating the arms for stitch for that I'm create I'm using the same sugar paste the same modeling paste and just making a ball and then I'm going to roll it out to a long stripe so we can make the arms from there so I created a stripe of approximately 12 centimeters that I'm cutting in half. Um, the arms are a little bit long right now, but um, I'd rather to have a longer piece than, and then I mold it to the size that I want. So I'm pressing one of the bottoms to create the feet, make it a little bit thicker than the rest of, of the leg. These are actually the legs, not the arms that we're doing first. And just uh, press it under your mat and um, on top of your mat and then keep rolling to create that a thicker shape in the bottom of the leg. Now I did the same to the other leg and using my dressing tool I'm just going to mark um, his feet uh, just creating uh, indentation in there and then smoothing it out with with my fingers and with the dressing tool. So once that I have my leg ready, I'm going to measure it next to the body to see if I have the right size and I'm going to create a diagonal cut in order to set the leg next to the body and it will, it will set better and it will glue better and I will have the chance to blend the modeling paste of the leg with the modeling paste of the body. To repeat the same process with the other leg and make sure they are they are the same size and they set the same next to the body. So now 
now using some water I'm going to glue them to the body and as I usually do I'm going to do that in both legs and as I usually do using my dressing tool I'm going to blend the modeling paste from the leg to the modeling paste of the body that way I don't have those lines or seams between the body and the legs Now in this part you can see how I'm going to create his feet. I'm going to make uh, I'm going to roll a ball, create a ball that I'm just then going to flatten in my hands just to create the base of his uh, feet. Looks like a little cushion made of sugar paste. I'm just gonna glue it here in the base. And I'm going to do that, of course, in both legs. After I do that, I'm going to start creating his toes. Uh, the toes are quite funny because they're four. Uh, so I'm making four little balls of uh, modeling paste. Glue them with a little bit of water. After they're all glued, as you can see here in the video, using a small ball tool, you will see it in just a second. Using a small ball tool, I'm going to create an indentation in the middle. And in that place, we're going to place the claws because he has some like dark nails using black sugar paste. And that will be his claws. You will see now how I do it. Just roll it out very thin in the tip. Cut it out with your um, X-Hacto knife and place them in each of the holes that you created. And I'm going to do the same in all the little holes or his toes. done we're going to make his little belly using a lighter shade of blue so I just mixed a little bit of the dark blue modeling paste that we've been using with some white modeling paste all from Sar Saracino brand um, it's been great using this brand because it really holds while you are modeling uh, so now I'm just cutting a, like an egg sort of like an egg shape like a novel shape I'm um, measuring that is the correct size. I'm doing this actually by try and error. I don't have any pattern to follow. But once I have the size that I want and this is it, I'm just going to glue it with a little bit of water. Okay, so now we're going to do a very similar process just to create the arms. So from a ball of modeling paste, I am rolling it out to, this is actually long, but I'd rather start with a long uh, stripe or of sugar paste. I'm removing the tip because I'm going to use that tip for his hands. And now I'm just going to measure, let's remove the tip from the other one also round the base of his um, hands. They're a little bit thick, so I think, I'm just gonna measure first how much I need. And I'm gonna cut both the same size. One of them is a little thicker, so I think I'm going to 
uh, roll it a little bit more so it won't be so thick. Okay, so now that I have the size and the thickness that I want for his hands, I'm going to create the diagonal cut that I did before with the legs, just for the arms to set on the body and uh, looks uh, nicer as they're coming out of the shoulders. Okay, so now that I have the size that I want, the thickness that I want, creating the hands is going to be done with the little balls that I set apart. So I just create a doll and I am going to tap it a little bit to make it flat and that will be the hand where I'm going to create, it's the same thing that we created in the paws where we have the four nails, the four fingernails, and you will see in just a second how I'm going to do that. So the hands are and the arms are done. I'm just creating a little band in here in the middle like an elbow. I'm going to glue it to make sure the size is correct, everything is where I want it. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the other leg. Once both of them are done, I'm going to glue them together and with the dressing tool, as you can see here, I'm also blending the sugar paste or the modeling paste around the arm so you don't see that seam and that line in uh, around the arm and next to the body.
different so now we're going to move on to the head for the head I'm using again blue Cetacino modeling paste with a styrofoam ball in this case the proportion is more sugar paste or more modeling paste than the styrofoam styrofoam is just uh, to hold it together it's a structural thing and uh, I'm placing it in the middle and pushing the sugar paste around the ball just like we did with the body but in this case I'm creating a ball or a round shape that then I'm going to shape into a more oval one because the stitch head it's uh, is not so round it's a little bit more oval or for example or this stitch <laughs> is not going to be too round so after I create the shape that I want and I have it in the size that I want, I'm going to make sure with the body that the shape is correct, perfect, this is what I want. And now we are going to create his mouth, rolling out the same tone of light blue sugar paste or modeling paste that we used for his tummy. So I'm creating this shape that I cut roughly one first just to measure that it was okay and then I cut it again just to uh, make sure that the size was good. I'm going to place it in the under part of, I mean in the lower part of his head with some water so it can glue and it's not right in the middle, it's like three quarters down in his head. Now using the same blue uh, shade, I created two sort of triangular uh, shapes to make the like sockets for the eyes and I'm placing them quite far away because in the middle we're going to have a big black nose. Once this is done, I roll out black sugar paste and also create the same shape for the eyes. After the eyes are done we're going to create the nose using also some black sugar paste uh, it's not going to be absolutely round it's also going to have an oval uh, shape to it and place it right there between the two shades of blue to have stitch nose big and shiny and uh, now two little dots of white sugar paste just to create some light into his eyes. Now use a toothpick to insert in the middle of his body to hold the head and the body. What I do is I try to get to the point where I can feel the styrofoam that is inside so I know the structure will hold. If you mark it with your hands or something, remember that modeling paste is great to repair any damage that you can be making into the doll or the topper. Now for the ears, I'm rolling out some blue um, modeling paste not so thin this is like four millimeters thick and also some pink one for the inside of the ears the 
rolled out to the size that I want. I'm gonna glue them together with some water and then I'm gonna roll them together again so they will stick uh, very well and that will be, it will be like a fabric where I can cut around like I'm doing right now. I'm creating an oval shape. Then I'm going to cut it in half and those are going to be the ears of stitch. Once I have the ears, I'm just going to measure the size and mark it what I want to cut it. I'm going to cut it right there. So I cut it first in a sort of round shape and then I add some details on Stitch ears. He has like a indentation in parts of his ears. Uh, and with this shape, I'm going to create um, I'm going to create a base, uh, just folding it like this, just a little base, and measure it to see if it's the correct size. His ears are going to be back and down. Smooth any edges that you don't like, and once I have it to the size that I want, I'm just going to roll it out and cut it so it's not thick and fat at the, at the, at the top of the ears, and just uh, mold it or um, blend it with a little bit of water, just uh, place it there, glue it and blend it around using your dressing tool. After placing my two ears of this stitch uh, cake topper and blending it together, it's looking very cute. I'm going to create some uh, little hair for the top of his head, just cutting out some of the scraps that I had left and uh, placing them together. Uh, since the modeling paste is starting to harden a little bit, it will be easier for me to place uh, the little hair standing up. So I'm creating this shape together, just cut the excess that you don't need. Add a little bit of water into the topper if necessary, if not actually the, the paste is quite uh, soft. So I can just add it and blend it together. And there you go. We have a very cute uh, stitch cake topper made out of modeling paste for any beautiful cake that you want to make. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications about the Art Cake Experience channel.